We have to go back. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Disney conspiracy theories. You can't take my rocket to the top, Riley and I go to the moon! For this list, we're looking at the most famous and mind-blowing fan theories that have been conceived regarding Disney and Pixar films, whether or not they have since been disproven. Since we'll be diving deep, there will be spoilers. Which of these theories do you find the most convincing? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Mother Gothel is the Evil Queen. Tangled and Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs contains one of the most iconic Disney villains in the Evil Queen. And if this theory holds any water, she might just show up in Tangled as well. Magic mirror on the wall. Who now is the fairest one of all? The theory posits that both stories take place in southern Germany and that the events of Tangled occurred over 200 years after Snow White. Gothel also supposedly faked her death at the end of Snow White and lived for centuries thanks to the Golden Flower, eventually leading to the story of Tangled. All good things to those who wait. Furthermore, both characters are vain and obsessed with physical beauty. Both wear a similar style dress, Gothel's dagger resembles the Evil Queen's dagger decor, and their old age appearances are strikingly similar. Coincidence? No! Number 9. Bing Bong is a Monster – Inside Out and Monsters, Inc. Inside Out really knows how to get the tears flowing, like having imaginary friend Bing Bong fade from Riley's memory in the memory dump. It breaks our hearts just talking about it. Take her to the moon for me, okay? The famous Pixar Universe theory posits that every Pixar film takes place within the same universe, and that applies here. According to this surprisingly tantalizing theory, Bing Bong was a monster from Monsters Incorporated who used to make Riley laugh. I went to all of your concerts! Yeah, I blow a mean nose! What? And for those who don't remember, the ending of Monsters, Inc. saw the titular creature switching from scares to laughter in order to produce more energy. Following this logic, it is possible that Riley based her imaginary friend off of the monster who used to visit her every night. Salad, sucker! <laughs> Number 8. Captain Hook took Ariel's mother's life. Peter Pan and the Little Mermaid franchise. It's quite common for Disney protagonists to be minus a parent or two. Ariel, for instance, is without her mother, as Queen Athena died after meeting a violent band of pirates. This was the event that fueled King Triton's hatred of the human race. A rather tragic theory posits that the pirates responsible for Athena's death were none other than Captain Hook and his mischievous crew. I wonder. It is, however, possible that Hook captured Athena and took her to Neverland, as a mermaid bearing a strong physical resemblance to Athena and Ariel can be seen lounging on a rock. If this is true, it gives us even more reason to hate the one-handed coward. Number 7. The CIA – Lilo and Stitch Continuing the Disney tradition of orphaned protagonists are Lilo and Nani from Lilo and Stitch. Ving Rhames voices Cobra Bubbles, an ex-CIA agent turned social worker in Hawaii who also has connections to Roswell. Bubbles. Mr. Bubbles. That's a strange… Yes, I know. However, the theory postulates that Cobra is not actually a social worker, but that he has continued life in the CIA. In fact, he supposedly once worked with Lilo and Nani's parents, also CIA agents, and he's there to look after their kids following their deaths. You don't look like a social worker. I'm a special classification. It's likely that he made some sort of promise to the girl's parents before they died, and he used the facade of a social worker to get close to them. I know you're trying, Nani, but you need to think about what's best for Lilo. Number 6. Andy's mom is Emily. Toy Story 2. One of the most popular theories in the entire Disney canon regards a new character introduced in Toy Story 2, and maybe an old character as well. In the movie's saddest sequence, Jessie talks about her old owner, Emily. While the two remained close throughout Emily's childhood, Emily eventually outgrew Jessie and gave her up. Every hour is spent together lives within my heart. Though it would be a major happenstance, it is possible that Emily is actually Andy's mom. 
Andy, let's go. Molly's already in her car seat. She'd be the right age, and we never learn her first name. Not only that, but Andy can be seen sporting a Jesse-style hat in the first movie. Could this be a hand-me-down accessory that was once owned by his mother? An accessory she received alongside her cowgirl Jesse doll? Hmm. Come on, Molly. Oh, you're getting heavy. Number 5. Humanity's Extinction – Cars This movie is arguably a lesser Pixar effort, but it contains what is also arguably the darkest theory in the canon. Viewers probably noticed a lack of humans in Cars. Was it simply a creative decision to focus on anthropomorphic vehicles, or is there something more sinister hiding under the surface? According to a theory posited by art department coordinator Jay Ward, the cars simply killed all the humans. You're in a heap of trouble. In his mind, the cars took on the personalities of their last drivers and proceeded to wipe out humanity in a mass extinction event. We know Disney and Pixar movies contain some dark material, but this is something else. May Doc have mercy on your soul. Number 4. Anna and Elsa's Parents – Frozen and Tarzan It seems like Tarzan might be connected to many classic Disney films. For example, some people theorize that Jane Porter could be a distant descendant of Belle from Beauty and the Beast. But she won't discover that it's him till chapter 3. Furthermore, it was previously theorized that Tarzan and Anna and Elsa from Frozen were secretly related. As everyone knows, Anna and Elsa's parents died in a shipwreck. But perhaps they survived, washed up on shore, established a small settlement in the jungle, and gave birth to a baby boy. They were then killed by a leopard, and the baby was raised by gorillas. Is Tarzan the long-lost brother of Anna and Elsa? Okay, almost certainly not as Frozen 2 further disproved it. But it's still fun to consider. Number 3. Wally is Satan. Wally. There's nothing like taking a harmless kids movie and turning it into a metaphor about the devil. This theory states that Wally follows a similar structure as the book of Genesis. The spaceships housing the remnants of humanity represent paradise without problems like war or hunger. Wally's seedling is the forbidden fruit, and by metaphorically consuming it, the captain loses his blissful ignorance, abandons paradise, and returns to the ravaged Earth. The best part of it all? Wally offers the seedling to Eve, prompting the eventual destruction of paradise. In this case, Wally is the serpent in the Garden of Eden who gives the forbidden fruit to Eve. Ergo, Satan. Wally! Number 2. Boo is the Witch, Monsters, Inc. and Brave The aforementioned Pixar shared universe strikes again with a particularly loopy theory. It states that Boo was permanently scarred by her experiences in Monsters, Inc. and developed a fascination with the door's mechanics. Nothing's coming out of your closet to scare you anymore, right? Hoping to master the art of dimension hopping, Boo traveled to the Will o' the Wisp, believing it to be the source of all magic. By utilizing its power, she created magic doors that can hop between times and dimensions. She keeps a carving of Sully in her hut, and she inadvertently created more dew while attempting to replicate her old monster friend. More dew. In fact, Boo is the instigator of the entire shared universe theory as the numerous Pixar Easter eggs are actually objects left behind by a dimension-hopping boo. Overall, it's a very sad theory. Another witch! Too many unsatisfied customers! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Carl actually died. Up. As if Up couldn't get any sadder, this theory posits that Carl Fredrickson was actually dead for most of the movie. According to its proponents, the elderly Carl passed away from a combination of grief and shock after learning that he needed to vacate his home. Tell your boss he can have our house. Really? When I'm dead. Russell is the guardian angel sent to transition a reluctant Carl to the afterlife and it took the form of a young boy to honor Carl and Ellie's lost child. This one is missing. This is my assisting the elderly badge. If 
I get it, I will become a senior wilderness explorer. Carl's house represents his tether to the real world, and Paradise Falls is his own personal heaven. Russell subsequently gets his wings, or in this case his merit badges, and Carl accepts death when his house lands in Paradise Falls. And you thought the last one was sad. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.